You've got this huge gathering of people that are there to fist fight in the most savage way. I had so many people taken away from me. And I feel like this is going to get me away from here. And I don't want to be a victim to the streets, you know? Because where I come from, we shoot each other in the head. So what's violence? Punching each other or uh, shooting each other? You gotta pick your words carefully, my friend. Guns down, gloves up. Guns down, gloves up. No more gun violence. Harrisonburg is such a strange little city. This was once called a meth capital. And again, for a little city to be called a meth capital, just weird. Harrisonburg's unique, you know? Is it, is it rough here? It depends on what circles you hang around if you want to call Harrisonburg rough. There's rough circles. And I've personally known five people who got murdered here in Harrisonburg. How many people do you know that got murdered? You know, it's, it's odd to know more than one person who's been murdered. My name's Chris Wilmore, uh, nicknamed Scarface. I'm the founder and creator of Street Beefs. All right, what's Street Beefs? I mean, it's, it's out in the middle of nowhere. Are a fight club. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Rematch. If you look Street Beefs up online and, and run into us on YouTube, you're going to see a bunch of guys and gals fighting in a backyard. He's one and two in Satan's backyard. Be safe, fellas. Fight hard. I'd say now we're right at about 1.9 million subscribers. Uh, we have over 450 million views. Everybody thinks they can fight, but you'd be surprised. Not everybody can fight. When you pull into this giant field, you see the cage. You the cage. And there's street beefs, you know. You've got this huge gathering of people that are there to fist fight the most savage way. I'm always calm in the chaos, so. Hey, Chris. Where's my nurse? <laughs> it goes in my head. I try to put my opponent to sleep. That's what's really going on in my head. Now get a position. Street Beef's original beginning, the very first fight was a dispute between two guys over a drug beef. Uh, and our first multiple fights were disputes. It's a way where we could, we could finish uh, any type of disputes and keep our lives. Guns Down, Gloves Up holds utmost importance to me. <laughs> well, I want a real fight. I don't want no weak fight. People feel disrespected and slighted. And before you know it, one of them's got a gun, and the other one's dead. This is the old house. Um, this is where Street Beefs was built. I'm gonna take you around and show you that here in just a minute. My name's Christopher Wilmore. Uh, I'm the founder of Street Beefs. People call me Scarface. Thirteen hundred fights right here. Uh, this is where it started. Yeah, man. This is where it it's, 
it was kind of sad to leave the place, to be honest. But, mm -hmm. you know, the old house, to me, is too old now. We, we moving on. Right. But it's like this. This wall we put up six years ago. It's held up, but you see there's holes in it now. So at what age would you want me to start? I went through drug addiction, severe drug addiction. I was burned really bad. My whole body, third degree burns. Yeah, how old were you when, with the burns and everything like that? What? So you, I, you didn't, I didn't know you didn't know I got burned up. Was burned over 80% of my body. Um, I tried to get my brother out of a house fire and I got trapped and the roof caved in, killed my brother, and burned me. Um, I was in West Penn Burn Center in Pittsburgh for a year. I had 109 surgeries total. And uh, yeah, I was on a morphine pump, and that's, that's why I got addicted. Back in the city, uh, I ran with a gang. Spent many years in prison. I was in max, medium, minimum, all the different levels of prison, um, and was convicted of seven felonies overall. Now you see, I, I was stabbed in the throat. You can barely see the scars left, but I had to have a tracheotomy as a result. Um, that was over a gang dispute. and. That weighed heavily on me because I know what it's like, you know, to get in this little petty BS argument and then be left laying bleeding to death in the street over nothing. And that, that weighs on me to this day. I've had multiple friends taken from me for petty disputes, shot, stabbed, everything in between. You know, when you're an old guy, the knees go out a little bit. So, got to keep them wrapped. When I first said it, I had just had a friend stabbed to death over a dispute. A couple weeks before that, I had another friend shot. He didn't die. Why are these guys, every time there's a beef, why do you got to pick up a weapon? I said it, guns down, gloves up. And I, and I ran with it. I ran with that slogan. Got one more day of hard sparring, assuming we got the guys that show up. When I turned around, I seen young men and women who were still like I used to be. And I tried to counsel to them. Okay, we got the beef fight going down here. And that's why those first men approached me, because they seen me as somebody who had uh, a good head on his shoulders. <laughs> And they asked if I could help them mediate their dispute, and I did. And it all, now it's like it's almost always was destiny that the street beefs, that I started street beefs. That's how it feels. So especially where he came from, he's a completely different person. Um, but he has helped out so many people and sometimes not all those people are deserving of that you know i could I, I could call him right now and be like yo face i can't make my rent and he could have no money but he'd figure out a way to to, to help me out you know before himself so not a lot of people would do that for you so what are we doing right now um i'm going to meet a guy who is he came up here, he's been a Street Beast fan for a long time, and uh, he's homeless, and he's got his family. So I'm helping him get into a place because he don't have nobody else to help him. When I was young, my wife was pregnant, I was an addict, and I wasn't doing anything that I was supposed to be doing as a husband or a father. And we ended up homeless. 
and we're sleeping in a car. And nobody helped us. So I'm seeing these people with a family sleeping in a car and I have the ability to help them. There's no way that I can't do it. I have to do it. You guys can start moving in when you're ready. Okay. Um, if you don't, let us know by this evening. Okay. Uh, let me show you around back. I mean, we got this house. We moved in ten days ago, and. I've never lived in anything close to this. Uh, we lived in HUD housing, on welfare. Nobody in my family owned a home, nobody. So for me to own this home is crazy. In the end, I got with my wife, had my first son, and it pumped the brakes. Didn't happen immediately. Um, I just knew I had to slow down for their sake. And that's when the change started to happen. Hey, Bubby. Huh. Hey, daddy's got his friend with him. And I knew it was up to me to lead my family the right way. And that's when I started trying to make a change and uh, don't touch it. There, you did a good job. Street Beefs is allowing me to give back. It's allowing me to, to employ people give them gainful jobs. It's allowing me to give people a place to be a part of things because I'm doing this for the right reasons. My family's doing good. My friends are doing good. I'm doing good. And uh, I've been given a chance to do something good for society. It, it's, it's touched me, man. I'm happy as I can be. The thing that I love about this organization is you see people from all walks of life. Hey, we're all street people. None of us are pros. You got a nasty cut. And you will bleed. You know, we are here getting it. Well, from the outside looking in yet, you're going to see us as a fight club. You're probably going to see us as crazy. It's more to it than, you know what I'm saying, just fighting and going out there and knocking off the next man's head. Like, anyone with mental illness, bipolar, depression, reach out to me, reach out to your loved ones. We're here for you. All smiles, all peace. Woo! How you fight? Um, it's a stress reliever. For real. Helps with my anxiety, problems, depression, all that stuff, man. Christopher Turkowitz out of Waynesboro, Virginia. Um, fight named Turk. If you don't fight in life, you're not gonna get anywhere. That's just that's just how it is. I was really a, a fiend on the streets for like two years of my life and didn't know where I was going, didn't know what I was doing. Um, and then I seen YouTube, I seen Street Beefs, so I just thought it like, let me go release some of my pain. What'd you struggle with in your past? Um, cocaine. Yeah. How you doing now? I'm good. Strong. Faith says it best, we've been fighting since Jesus walked the earth. And bro, you gotta stand up for yourself. My name is Omar. Call me the Iraq assassin. 
I'm from Iraq originally, southern Iraq, Basra, Iraq. I'm a, I'm a war refugee. Let me just go ahead and uh, address the term violence. We're talk, are we talking about violence by punching each other in the face? Because where I come from, we shoot each other in the head. My dad has nine shots in his body, my sister got two in her leg, and my brother got one. You know what I mean? So what's violence? Punching each other or, uh, you know what I mean? Shooting each other. So you had a, you had a dispute fight? Yes, sir. I had a beef fight with this dude who was basically, uh, was really racist to me. What happened after you guys fought? I beat his up. Knocked him out. Sleep. Yeah, bro. What happened after that? Then we just went our own way. So I overcame my uh, drug addiction myself. Uh, I had an overdose, but uh, I ended up finding fighting. Guns down, gloves up. That's something that we putting on our back. So just the, the statement alone is powerful because uh, a lot of people, especially where I'm from, and, and I know it's rough out here too, but uh, a lot of people that look like me don't get to make it to 18 years old, 22 years old, 25. So because of guns and uh, just simple stuff you can handle with your hands. Like you can handle it, boom, win or lose, walk away. You put up the Follow my name, man, I'm hard as stone. Small boy, bro. Guns down, gloves up. This man lost his best friend to gun balance. We don't stand for it. Fight for a reason. I fight because this is all I did when I was younger, honestly, was fight every day, fight every day. And I had so many people taken away from me. And I feel like this is going to get me away from here. And I don't want to be a victim to the streets, you know? I want to make my family proud. And I don't got that much time. I don't know how much time they got left. And yeah, I can say it saved me. And in so many ways, like, um, seen times I, man, when I ain't had nothing, I was ready to do crazy stuff, man. Um, I reached out to Street Beef. They took care of me, you know? Even down in my car, got towed. Still looked out for me. Um, the best organization I've ever been a part of. Man, uh, they love stronger than family at times, boy. They can save you. They save me. And saving one is better than saving none. That's my respect. Guns down, gloves up. Hey, guns down, gloves up. No more gun balance. Get in here and get it. You come to an event, you'll see young black men from the inner city. City, out of 336. Young black men from the country. Get your head up, all right? Young white men, inner city. Young white men from the suburbs. You'll see Arabic people who just came here as immigrants. You'll see Mexican people, Russian people. I'm mad about the size, we're gonna get in. Poor people, rich people, men, women. It is beautiful. You see this huge diversity. Hey, great fight. Great fight fighters. And what we do. And to me, that's the best thing about street beefs. When you walk in, it's almost impossible to fill out a place. Street beefs, man, uh, it's a backyard fight organization. Round two, street beefs. But it's, it's a lot more than that, man. It's, uh, it's a family. You know, uh, I was an outsider for a long time. I mean, I, I grew up in this area and uh, I've seen face, I've heard of face, I've heard of street beefs. You know, all his life he was around violence. Um, you know, at an early age he was in a house fire, lost his brother, lost, you know, everything he has at a very young age, burned eight percent of his body, you know what I mean? And his story is definitely deep, like, it's motivating to see this man has a whole family, you know what I mean? Um, and goes out every day, gets up in the morning, you know what I mean? And, and 
and what goes out and gets it out here three days a week working out working out at the house always trying to make moves always trying to do good for people reaching out back to the community that's a role model to, to a lot of people and I think people have that bad misconception about Scarface just because of his history but you gotta understand man we all came from a very poor environment you know some of us are not you know built the same or raised the same so he turned his life around, and that's what counts in the day, just like I turned my life around. Look at me, I, you know, I, I had trouble adapting here to the culture, so I was always in trouble with the law, you know what I mean? But because I stuck around with street beef, I uh, saw a way out of that, you know, because of fighting. Um, he's been through more than anybody could imagine. Um, there's a lot of people that think that they know face, Nobody knows face besides himself. Um, he's a good dude. He's like a big brother. Nope. He's helped me a lot. Love that man to death. It was a war, and in the end, they both leave him with a win. Draw. Good fight. Good, good fight, fight, guys. Good fight. Good fight. Good fight. Good fight. And it just started out with beef fights and, and settling beef. <laughs> <laughs> They came to me and said, can we fight in your yard, have it regulated, solve our dispute, and go home. And that's what Street Beefs was built on. Turn up to him! Turn up to him! That's what started. We still do do disputes, make no mistake. Press this ass! But now, there's this club atmosphere. It's, it's even deeper. The th solving the disputes was important, but I believe what we're doing now is even more important. There's not many jobs in the world where you can fight the boss, all right? It's more than just a fight club, though. We're like, we're a family. We all show love to each other. We support each other. When you're able to put gloves on with somebody, when you got an issue, it solves stuff. It does. People think it's barbaric. It's not, brother. It's one of the most beautiful things you'll ever witness. This brotherhood right here is like nothing you've ever seen even in church because we're giving young men and women <laughs> who may feel like they're not a part of anything, may not feel accepted by society. We're giving them something to be a part of and it's a family. We solve it in the yard and we leave it. Agreed? Any coward can pull a trigger. But it take a real man to look another man in the eyes, punch him right in the face. Five star wolf pet. Step in the cage and I'm giving out work. Satan's backyard, you ain't trying to get hurt. I'ma bring the pain, you gon' get it to work. <laughs>